Plastics are everywhere, holding the water we drink, the foods we eat. They're a part of our lives, even in the smallest of ways. So nanoplastics are very small microparticles that are formed from the breakdown of plastics. Cardiologist Grant Bailey knows those tiny micro and nanoplastics are popping up in more places. They've been found in beer, even the human placenta. What they're finding now is that nanoplastics are entering the food chain and they're entering the ecological cycle. So they're being found in animals and of course, humans who ingest those animals, we are also finding nanoplastics inside people. A new study looked at the presence of those nanoplastics from inside the human body, specifically in the plaque inside the carotid artery in the neck. And of course, not surprisingly, they found that a large majority of the plaques that were uh, that were resected had the presence of several different plastic particles inside of them. That study found people with microplastics in their carotid arteries were twice as likely to have a heart attack, stroke, or die compared to people who had none. Dr. Bailey says that's concerning because heart disease is already the leading cause of death nationwide. And so the theory here is that the ingestion of microplastics is, is akin to smoking or air pollution or uh, having very high cholesterol, that it's another risk factor that increases a person's risk of, of heart attack and stroke. This kind of research is new. Dr. Bailey says we need more of it. To what extent do those plastics um, are causing this problem? To what extent do the plastics lead to heart attack and stroke and, and vascular disease? Plastics likely aren't going anywhere, but Bailey says knowing just how much we're consuming and the damage it's doing to our bodies can help find ways to reduce its impact. And we don't have to ban plastics altogether, but there certainly are ways that we can produce them and dispose of them uh, and use them in our lives that, that that mitigate the risk that obviously that their breakdown exposes to us over time.